Jesus said, start. Jesus tells us to have a private conversation with the person we need to have that conversation with. How? I think immediately. I think the sooner the better. Don't put it off because I think conflict, if it's weeks or months, it actually will continue to grow and it's not going away. So the sooner the better. If there's an issue, deal with it. Get in touch straight away and deal with it. I know people say, we need to do it face to face. Well, that's ideal and that's helpful. But if you don't have that moment, then get on the phone and sort it out. But don't post about it. Don't send messages or texts or email. Call that person or or hopefully face to face. But immediately, friends, uh, because I think the offense tends to get blown out of proportion the longer we wait to address it. Another thing is to try, as I just said, try and meet face to face. I mean, that's the ideal right there. Face to face, genuine our heart and understanding. Jesus said, go and show them their fault. Go to them and show them their fault. Anything less than a face to face conversation places a barrier between people involved. In saying that, I know it's not always practical, then get on the phone, but don't wait for six months till you can see that person. Get on the phone and work it out. I think we've worked out a lot of stuff on the phone because people catch your heart, not through email, through text, but through the phone call or FaceTime or something, but immediately, all right, and face to face. Then it's important to affirm the relationship. I really do believe it. We can do so much if we just affirm what we've got rather than say, hey, I've got this issue with you. Rather go and affirm our relationship. Say, hey man, I believe in what we're doing. I believe in you. I'm not attacking you. I want this thing to be sorted out because I love what we've got together. Imagine just affirming what you have, how it it kind of de-escalates all the attacks and and friends, I want to tell you, you hardly see this happening anymore. And we've got to come back to Scripture and do this. Let the person know that you're seeking to resolve the conflict. I want to work this out. Not, I want to prove you wrong and you've hurt me. I want to see this work out. That's what Jesus is about. That's what he told us to do. So let's go and do that. We don't want to sign blame. And I want to say, let the person know up front how much they mean to you. Make sure. And not low wind in their ears. You better have that heart of, I want this to work. And God, give me the heart. So when I go and speak to them... I'm not just complimenting them. I'm meaning it from my heart. It's also important to make observations and not accusations. Our friends, I want to tell you how many people come and say and accuse me rather than observed. If they said to me, Tyron, I've seen this and it looks like you did this. It's so much easier than to say you did this and I'm accusing you of it. It's, I, I, it's harder to respond when you're accused rather than if people observe and say, hey, I've observed this and I want to just kind of work it out. What does it mean? And friends, again, simple truths, but we're not seeing it play out right now. And I think we can and we should and we need to come back to it.